faith seems like the ultimate confidence, right? Okay. Even when things are going poorly in your life, you still are confident that God is with you and that your position is okay. Because the opposite, the flip side of that is like a prosperity gospel approach, right? Okay. Where you're like, if I have faith, I will win at everything <laughs> yeah. and nothing bad will ever happen to me. But as soon as something bad happens to you, mm -hmm. then your faith crumbles. So, um, so this to me seems like the, the ultimate confidence to be able to deal with the hard stuff. And you could even argue that faith really isn't faith unless it is tested. I mean, that's where you're developing that faith. That's where you're forging the faith is when it is very difficult, not when things are easy. I mean, are you really developing faith when you're standing at the tree of life or is that faith really developing when you're wandering through the dark and dreary mm -hmm. mists and you're trying to keep onto that iron rod? And I think what comes into play is uh, when you go to the definition of faith in Greek, it's pistis. And uh, in that ancient conception, it has a lot to do with loyalty, like faithfulness to something, like you're faithful to a spouse. And so when we think about faith in that lens, when things are really hard, it's not about, you know, having this willpower to do great things. It's being loyal to what you know is true, being like loyal and convicted, even though things are hard. Mm -hmm. Having the faith to get out of bed is just that loyalty to knowing that things might get better later on, but it's hard right now. Mm -hmm.